Thank you, Dr. Bonadot. Now today, Jim, Jim, please, Jim. Jim, please, sit. Okay. Today, Dr. Bona, Dr. Bona talk about almost around 70 years old male patient diabetes, mellitus, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, chronic renal impairment, recent stroke, aspiration pneumonia. A lot of comorbidities which interfere uh, with management. Yeah, and for the recent stroke and for colloquial failure, you need to uh, take care of the fluids. And at the same time, you don't need to lead to dehydration of the patient. You don't, uh, you don't need to overload the patient. To put a moment, I, know, I, I am, this is the first time to see the patient. And we will start to do advanced clinical ultrasound to do uh, a management of this complicated case. Because at the end of the day, we need to be EU, EU balance. We don't need overload. We don't need or, uh, under uh, dehydration. We, we, we need to be in the proper IV fluids for this patient with comorbidity. So let us start. And I will start uh, critical care ultrasound by infusing a cavity. I will put here <coughs> in the, the gastrium of the patient. You see here, put gastrium of the patient here. Okay. And just in the center, in the, the gas area in the center, and I will take the liver, I will take the liver, and will go through the liver from here, through the inferior vena cava, to exactly see what's going on for the inferior vena cava. As you see here, this is a hepatic vein, this is the inferior vena cava. I will press uh, MMO, okay, and I will put the MMO just above the hepatic vein, okay, and I will do the measure, the maximum diameter of the inferior vena cava, which is almost two, and the minimum diameter. You are talking about the yeah, inferior vena cava is not uh, distinguishable at all, and it is in the high side. Yeah, and you can consider a CVV for this patient from 10 to 15. Okay, but in heart failure, uh, you, you and this patient also, <clears throat> I should check for tricuspid gauge. But if there is significant tricuspid gauge, inferior vena cava will not benefit uh, us a lot. Okay, this is denoting the pressure in the right side of the heart. Okay, what about the pressure in the left side of the heart? What about the wedge pressure? Let us see. I will put the uh, phase array probe in the four chamber view here to get this image. The one line is masking the heart. What you see here? Septum is hypokinetic. Okay, lateral wall hypokinesia. Apex almost akinetic. If I, I will do two chamber hypokinetic inferior wall and anterior wall hypokinesia. Now I'll talk about such a fraction of 20 to 30. Okay, okay. For us, the ICU people, now we are not considered the ejection fraction a lot. Now, at the end of the day, we need to see what's going on for the oil. We are in the ICU, we are not considering the ejection fraction more than the stroke volume. We are putting the pulsed wave Doppler here at about half centimeter above the aortic bulb and I will take the Doppler study coming from the left ventricle through the left ventricle foot tract which is the VTI, okay? And I will measure this VTI because this VTI is a surrogate of stroke volume. For this patient, it's not enough to know is low ejection fraction. I need to know low stroke volume because I know this is very important piece of formation of hypo perfusion for this patient. I will uh, choose the uh, aorta, lift the total outflow tract tracing, and I will take here from the beginning of this tool here, enter, and I will trace the Doppler study of the lift of blood of the lift of flow trap. You see here, LVOT, it is 6.8. I am for shortening here. Let me do it. Uh, 
okay, this is exactly in the edge, okay, exactly in the edge, okay, you are talking about LVOT VTI airborne 3, the normal from 18 to 22, so this patient has both, has low ejection traction and at the same time has low flow state hypoperfusion, okay, the first piece of information. Second, I need to uh, assess the left atrial pressure. I need to, to, to know about the feeling pressure of the heart because it's a very important uh, point of uh, management here because if it's high, if it's uh, the solid grade 3 and increased left uh, ventricular feeling pressure, I should dilute the patient. I should, I should remove fluids because congestion will, will worsen the kidney by bad pressure and worsen all organs by hypoperfusion and kidney by hypoperfusion. Let us uh, uh, apply the new guidelines of American Society of Echocardiography and the Rubia, uh, Association of Cardiovascular Imaging, which talk about the service function, and I talk about a lot in uh, our previous video. Let us do the. Uh, okay, I will put here, here, no, that's a computer, I will put here, okay, this is for chamber view. I will put. Okay. What I did, I, I put the pulsed wave Doppler at the tip of the mitral valve here. This patient has heart disease, has ischemic heart disease with wall motion abnormality. So, what I'm going to do now is I will measure the relationship between the E wave, which is a diastolic, massive diastolic feeling of left ventricle and the atrial kick, which is the atrial contraction. What can I do? I will press mitral here. Mitral, I will choose mitral. After choosing mitral, I will choose E ratio. I need to know this relationship. Okay. This is the tip of the big velocity of the E wave, which is the uh, atrial feeling. This is the deceleration time. This is the deceleration time. Okay. I will enter and I will choose the A wave. Okay. I get two very important information here. The E over A prime, E over A prime is 3.3, .3, more than 2. If more than 2 and the patient has left ventricular disease, left ventricular disease, ischemic heart disease, or any uh, left ventricular disease, that means it is according to the American Society of Cardiography and the Rubian Association of Cardiovascular Imaging guidelines 2016, it should be grade 3, the service function, with increased lift, lift, uh, uh, atrial feeling pressure, lift ventricular feeling pressure. That means this patient has high lift ventricular feeling and grade 3, the service function, and I should make a step go to the line to see what's going on, because this patient may be congested uh, now because the left ventricular feeling is high. Let us go to the line, please. Okay. I will put here in the space, the marker will be down. Okay, I will put vertical in the space here. And I will see. Oh, this is a lot of P lines here. A lot of P lines you see. A lot I will just measure. I will go the focus up, I will put the focus up, okay, you see here, this is the wet lung, this patient has pulmonary congestion with a lot of signs, bilateral loops, I am just putting the face and labor rod in the space, in vertical way, and I can, I can manipulate, I can manipulate here, manipulate until I get this good picture of the B lines all over, okay, B lines all over, okay, P-lines group, so I have, I have bilateral P-lines, okay. That's the card in the in a cava. Now we see here, yeah, the, the, danger, the dangerous, uh, and the dangerous of using only in the in a cava in management of the patient. Look here, this is a bicuspid one. I will put color doppler here. You see here, color doppler. يعني مدرك سفير تركز بالدرج مدرك سفير تركز بالدرج. if you rely on the fear of being a cadaver with this مدرك سفير تركز بالدرج it will be misleading definitely will be misleading because this definitely because of fear 
will lead to dilatation of the inferior vena cava, as you see. But doing both right side pressure and left side pressure. Everybody, uh, we'll come back. Today we'll follow uh, our patient uh, who is known case of uh, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, ischemic heart neuropathy, chronic renal impairment, aspiration pneumonia, very complicated patient. And in the previous study, we know the patient in the overload side because of restricted pattern, uh, the stonic uh, dysfunction grade 3 with increased left uh, ventricular feeling pressure and a lot of P lines all over the lung field. Uh, over the previous three days, we removed six liters, almost two liters per day by intravenous lasix infusion. Uh, and the good news, uh, levofilt stopped and at the same time, renal function improved. Uh, and we will start to uh, do advanced clinical ultrasound now. As you see here, the inferior vena cava is still full, but a little collapsing, a little collapsing. Excellent, very good. A little collapsing, okay. This and you know from the previous studies there is already trachasmetric gauge. Now we will not expect the inferior vena cava to decrease in size significantly. Okay, now we'll do the here. Put it here. Okay. We'll do the, the source function grading, follow up grading. Okay, follow up grading the source function. This is the for a chamber view, for a chamber view. The sector is moving now, it's better than previous. I will put the parcel with Doppler. Okay. Now we'll see in the, in the, in the ER brain. We need to see the, the story dysfunction of the patient. We'll do pulse away. We we'll put at the field of the mitral bar. And the crease in this line. Despite uh, the 6 liter saline, still it's restricted better, restricted better still. E, e, e wave, more than double E wave. Still, in patient is overload side, despite removing, uh, uh, as you know, uh, 6 liters. Okay, let us check the lung ultrasound. Okay. We'll put here the intercostal space. We'll put here the intercostal space in vertical position. I can make fine tuning to get very good uh, view of this view. Okay, for the very good view. It's A lines all over. A line all over. A line, A line all over. Okay, it's good news. It's, it's just it's few B lines, but A lines start to appear in the field. That means the line start to die up. This is the right side, right side, okay, right side, right side, we'll see, okay, okay, but right side it is, it is A line, A line, some B line is still there, but mostly A line, let me us focus, okay, as you see here, A lines. And the ventilator parameter don't move a lot. Can you, could you see the ventilator parameter now? <laughs> now see the pressure support is to relate in the wheel, fully saturated. That means uh, already the patient, despite improvement of the despite improvement of the uh, B lines and the movement of the uh, congestion from the lung, but still there is the service function and still we should be cautious with IV fluid. Thank you.